How's it going everyone? I'm Isle and today I have something a little bit different. A series taken from the Team Liquid Map Contest number 10, which uh, could be a chance for us to see some of the maps that could potentially be on the ladder. And these two are giving away the player. So I'm just going to jump into the introductions. First of all, we have our pinkish, <laughs> something like that, uh, Protoss player. It's none other than Hero. His opponent, as you may have seen, is our blue Zerg player. It is Overlord, you're in the way. It's Solar. I love seeing these two players. First map that we have is called Hard Lead. Or Lead. Hard Lead. Yep, make your jokes. Do them now. <laughs> I'm not allowed to. Well, maybe I am. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, take that for what you want. So, yes, the Team Liquid Map Contest is where creators are able to enter their maps uh, which goes through a whole process eventually there's a tournament uh, there's voting and everything um, all of that is wrapped up uh, i got the replays for this tournament so i wanted to have a look and um yeah this game had a uh, solo and hero so definitely people that i want to watch play now ignore that um let's have a quick look at this base because it seems like here is just going for low ground expand and solar's hatch on the low ground all right so we have a little bit of time so the main base seems pretty normal got a little couple of shapes in it and you got this low ground very normal and seems like a normal wall off that requires three by three structures then it opens up into this kind of corridor with this third base over here or you go down a ramp to the triangle third. Now, I think Zerg players were going to want this one. Maybe Protoss and Terran would prefer to take the triangle. Okay, there are rocks here that need to be destroyed before your third is exposed. So you've only really got one way in. Because if you're a Terran player, you can uh, set up here. And yeah, all you have got to defend is the one place. Okay, nice. Uh, he has another base. Maybe this will be fourth, but presumably you'd rather take this one as your fourth. Um, yeah, and then you've got a map down here on the bottom. Overall, map looks pretty neat. Some Zalnaga watchtowers, rocks that stop the direct rush coming through. Um, but yeah, seems pretty decent. Very red map. Also, yep, the name, Hard Lead, yep, 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 if you wonder, I am mentally still about 14, so yes, those, uh, I find those things very funny. Ooh, Hero coming in, getting a little bit of damage with that, uh, uh, Deb, did he get one? Yeah, he got one. Ooh, is that pillar not a pillar? Ooh, ow, that hurts Solar. So obviously this is kind of what this tournament is about, um, seeing the types of things that also are not working. I think that's supposed to be a pillar, but I don't know if it was working. I actually did cast a series earlier today, um, because I've been having some sound issues and uh, someone in one of the previous videos let me know that my sound was very low, so thank you for that, LL or whatever, sideways L. Um, so I was tweaking my sound and when I thought it was good, I recorded a best of three series and my mic was way too loud. I'm hoping it is better now. Um, but yeah, obviously I'm listening to everything when I'm editing through headphones. So sometimes it sounds a little bit soft, sometimes a little bit loud. Uh, just let me know if you think the sound needs to be up or down. Uh, if the game music is too soft or too loud or whatever. Anyway. Adepts do get in, they get a couple more workers. Here goes the Oracles. Oh, Hero's doing a good job in this game so far. Zapping two more queens, sleeping on the job. Ooh, gotta be careful. Oh no, okay, he's getting out. Not too much damage taken at the same time. Oh yes, bad boy Adept. I will take out that base. You see, he's playing in this pinkish color, which means that he's invisible to Solo. Normally, um, in some of the bigger tournaments, the players can't actually choose their colors and things uh, for clarity, etc, etc. Which makes sense. But yeah, here we go. 
Zergling's moving around. Solo's going to see where he can get something done. He's got a Roach Warren also on the way. Adept's trying to sneak into a corner. They might be in a little bit of trouble. At least the one is. No, they get out. Two more warping in. <laughs> Zergling's just changed targets <laughs> like little dogs chasing off a ball. All right, I'll take you now. Yum, yum, yum. They do get their depths on this side. Anyway, I'm talking nonsense. There are three oracles. I feel like I haven't done a hero game in a in a while. And also, um, in the other tournament that I'm casting a lot of games from, the ESL, hero didn't do very well. So, yeah, the Protoss is uh, looking a little bit uh, out of their depths in that tournament. But, um, yeah, th this one... Uh, without trying to give too much spoilers away, the Protosses did much better. Ooh, Nidus. I always like me some Nidus play. Solo being very active with these uh, Zerglings. Now, fair warning. Oh, that's a lot of Oracles. Generally, when the maps are still very new, uh, the players tend to be super aggressive. So this is a best of three series. It could be a very short series. Um, this one, they're both trying to play relatively macro focused. That's seven workers going down, by the way. Solo doing a good job with these Zerglings. Oracles have to come back, um, but uh, they're out of energy. So the Zergling rampage will continue. Nidus comes up in the main base. Zerglings are moving on the third. Solar playing a brilliant game over here. The Oracles, they will be able to get rid of the Nidus, but that does not stop these Zerglings from causing absolute mayhem in the mineral line. Photon Cannon does finish. Uh, Oracles rushing to the defense. The cannon goes down. That's more workers going down. The Nidus is going to come up just outside here, and here comes the ladies. Wow. They really rampage that uh, worker. Another one coming up in the main, and I think Hero is in a little bit of trouble. So let's try and spread that creep, because obviously uh, Queens cannot transfuse off of creep, but this mineral line is decimated. This one does get stopped, the Nidus Worm, that is. Here comes the Queens, slowly, slowly but surely. They're making their way. Okay, back on creep, where they love to be. Transfuses everyone back into the Nidus. And in the main. Roaches coming up behind. Get the Queens out, get the Queens out. Yeah, he does. Oh, the Queens didn't go in first. That's unfortunate. Setting up another Nidus here. Solus having too much fun with all these Nidus, be Nidus beams. I saw the stasis ward go off and I was like, Nidus beam. Yeah. Alright, it seems like Hero is stabilizing a little bit. The Oracles are out of energy once again. Although those zealots are just slaughtering everything as soon as they are pouring out. Okay. So, all in all, damage control, 16 probes went down. Not too bad, 115 zerglings actually, wow. Now it's a bit of a counter-attack. The thing is, here is not in a bad position. He's got his three bases, and he's actually up in workers. And he still has like six million oracles flying around. They're low on energy though, so you know, that's a thing. I think Solar's given up on the Nidus play for now. Never mind. Yeah, but the stalkers are gonna catch this one. And the roaches are moving across. Roach speed is not quite done yet. It's very close. And we're going to reinforce with another Nidus Worm. Solar getting very aggressive. He does know that he needs to deal some damage. More than what is already done. Um, well, here we go. Back to the safety of the queens. They pop out and the oracles are going to start falling. Yeah, Oracles need to retreat. The Protoss army needs to retreat. That is so many queens on the front lines. We have not seen uh, queen-based offensive pushes in quite some time. They really lost popularity, but I love what Solar's doing. Now, usually you would be transfusing, yeah, but unfortunately, yeah, that sort of thing. I don't know if that was a good change, but I guess, you know, it was a change. 
Solo's doing really well here. This attack is looking pretty unstoppable. The supply is dropping for Hero. Back to the safety of the creep. Let's transfuse a little bit. Oh, queens are so slow off creep. It's actually painful to watch. Regrouping and going back in. Same time, a couple of Zerglings did run past to the fourth base. Solo microing his queens back. He is microing them back into the Nidus Worm. That's some cool play. Isn't there mortal art? And a lot of the queens have fallen. Uh, I don't know if this is enough. Yeah, here is is uh, taking a very solid worker lead, yeah. This Nidus goes down. Two Immortals are out. GG. Hero taking game number one with some solid defense. So after that game number one, Hero takes the lead one to zero. We are on the next map called Sleepwalker. And we go from a relatively dark and dreary map to this, um, yeah, this is bright. It's a lot brighter. I do quite like it though. It uh, reminds me of one of my favorite maps. Um, what is it called? Overgrowth. This was a while ago. Don't know why it's my favorite map. But I loved playing on that map. That was a long time ago. Okay, so before we get into the action of the game. Let us quickly see what's going on. So you've got a big main base. You've got your Reaper. Whoops. Reaper jump up areas. You've got your natural, which looks like it's got a normal choke point. Moving across... Now you got a third that's on the high ground with two ramps and one's partially blocked. This is definitely third base material for Terran and Protoss. Zerg, I think, is. Zerg can take either one, but they'll most likely be expanding this way. Got an easily defensible position here. So, first, first three, four bases should be easy to hold. You got a low ground into this one with a little bit of a choke. I love that the, the maps have so many layers now. You got a base on this side. And then it's obviously mirrored. Middle of the map doesn't look too crazy. Couple of side blockers. Rocks. Side blockers in the rocks. Sight blockers in the rocks. Um, yeah. Seems like a decent map, very colorful, and the colors of the buildings, I don't know if it's just me, but they look very sharp. Very sharp. It's like, uh, vibrant. Also, there's all these crystals. Whatever they're for. I mean, the foliage, the greenery, it looks pretty. There's some weeds overgrowing here, come on. Oh, there's a dead colossus. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Moment of silence for the colossus. Okay, what else do we have on this map? We we have a head. It looks like a Templar head. Okay. So I'm looking at all the exciting things. This matchup seems pretty normal. Stargate. Uh, natural hatch. Yeah, nothing too major. Pulled out of gas. Yeah, anyway. Overlord. Uh, Overlord doesn't have a place to go. So it's trying to make a break for the open area. That's something I haven't been looking at. Where does the Overlord go? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, there is no Overlord pillar. I guess the closest one is here. That's not great. Is this the map, by the way? No, it's not this one. Can't remember which map it was, but it had the dodgy uh, Reaper jump off. Uh, a Reaper jump up pad. Um can't remember which one it was. I'll try to do some more games from this tournament because, I mean, a lot of the big pros played in it. But also, it's quite nice to see something new, see some new maps. Um, there's a couple of games I want to cast. Ooh, oh, almost. Um, but yeah, I'll try to get a good rotation and get all of the maps in in the next couple of weeks. Oracle, first one is out, moving across. We'll see if there are any tricky things happening in this one. Straight into Twilight afterwards. Most probably going to be Blink. Hero loves his Blink. He does. <laughs> the probe dancing with the Zerglings. 
Solar trying his best to get something. Uh, uh, that Ling is a little bit ambitious. Ooh, I'm looking away. The Oracle's getting some kills. Gets a lot of uh, damage on its health bar. Oh, uh, talking about health bars. There we go. You saw nothing. The health bars were always there. More Zerglings moving across. Oracle does see them. It's going to come back home to defend. It's got enough energy for its Pulsar Beam. Yeah, 73 more than enough. But the links are not doing too much. Adept build coming out of Hero. Okay. I don't quite know how I feel about the Adept builds. I've seen them work really well and then I've seen them flop heroically. Now, ask me what a heroic flop is. I don't really know. But, yeah, I don't know. Roach Warren is on the way, as well as the Lair. Oh, my right hand is cold. Does anyone else go get this when it's winter time? My left hand, the one on the keyboard, doesn't get very cold. Ooh, lost an oracle there. My mouse hand freezes. Like, how does that make sense? I don't know, probably because my left hand is doing a little bit more pressing a bunch of keys. I don't think I was that active with it. Anyway, enough talking about my hands. Let's move on into the game. Glaives is finishing up right now. The first adepts are going to start moving across, but we have 10 roaches. Plus these zerglings carrying on with their harassment. They're starting to get a lot of probes here. The adepts do move in. The queens are out. Roaches are following the shades. He's going to let it finish. Good pulling of the drones there, but yeah, hero needs to get some work. That's 12 probes that went down. Ooh, and these adepts could be in a little bit of a corner. They should get out. Yeah, ooh, nice stasis ward there on a lot of those workers. So that's five drones that go down. But all of the adepts have gone down as well. And now Solar is just going to go barreling straight across the map. Yeah, maybe not this formal, yeah. Uh, did Hero do enough? I don't think so. Yeah, here goes the roaches. They're growing across and Zerglings as a follow-up. Solar is aiming to get rid of this third and a couple of adepts aren't going to do anything. Hero's even getting more adepts. Okay, Solar wants to avoid this uh, choke maybe. Ooh, they get caught. That's a bad shade. That's an unlucky shade actually. I think Hero just took his eye off those adepts for a little bit. Good control here from Solar, keeping those uh, adepts blocked in. But yeah, there's not any left. Queens are going to be able to deal with this, along with the reinforcing Zergling. Solar is in a brilliant position, and now he's at the third. There's a single Oracle, but it doesn't have any energy. Okay, now it does. Uh, it's going to run out of it pretty soon, though. Workers are being pulled to the defense, and they're going to start going down. That's 10, 12, 14, probe 17. Solar is in a dominating position in this game. Zergling, Zergling reinforcements on the way. GG gets called. Solar evens the score. And match point for this series. Our final map is called Sidetracked. And I will try my best not to get sidetracked talking about random things as I walk you through this one. Uh, I'm going to have to be quick with this because I see there's two probes moving across already. Uh, pylon on the low ground. No, it seems fine. Okay. So, again, normal-ish base. Reaper. I'm keeping my eye on that probe. Don't worry. I know where it's going. I'm looking at it. Natural seems fine. Reaper jump up area here. Got the ramp for the natural, which is obviously great. Gateway goes down. Ooh. There's a train track. There's something with a flickering light as well. Okay, so it seems like that probe is just uh, blocking the natural. Solar's going to take his natural at the third. No problem. All right, let's follow the train tracks. Potential third here. The other side is upper ramp. Oh, easily defendable. Big chokes, though. And I don't think you want an army pushing in from this side. So I don't quite know if this is a, a good third base option. Obviously, everything that I'm saying is just my kind of analysis. This is the first time I'm what I'm looking at these maps, so I could be completely wrong as the pros, you know, the guys who actually know the game, uh, figure everything out. Overall, decent game. That looks like it's a high-yield Vespin, but it's covered in rocks. That's annoying. 
I guess that's the incentive to take this as a fourth, but then you'd have to take this as a third. I guess it's defendable. I don't know. Now we'll have to see how this... Hello, Solo. Oh, lol. <laughs> I forgot that he took his natural at the third. Oops. A little bit of a darker map again, but... Yeah, I kind of like the little train track running through. That's nice. We'll have to see how much this comes into play, because... Having to destroy the rocks is going to be painful, and your base can then be harassed from the low grunt as well. Um, that might be a potential, I don't know, fifth base? I don't see guys rushing this one out. Because you end up being very close to your opponent, like really close. You just got a couple of line of sight blockers separating you. Yeah, there is space for the overlord in this one at least that overlord can happily sit there a couple of positions for them to be placed around anyway here goes the adept all right so we've had a good look at the map it looks to be fine Ooh, snipes the creep tumor that's always nice stargate coming up behind it adept is just trying to cause a little bit of chaos but the third hatch has gone up for solar so i think he's going to feel pretty comfortable in his position these two have been playing a good StarCraft, uh, a good StarCraft, some good StarCraft against each other though. Second Adept joining in. Hero has not taken his third yet. Should be uh, looking to take it any minute now. Second Gateway coming up. Adepts are gonna finish in the main. One worker, two workers. We see Oracles coming up as well. Uh, don't lose them. 340, this is definitely the timing for that third. Oh, he loses both oracles. That's unfortunate. Uh, Hero getting a little bit greedy, taking a lot of damage on that oracle. I may have said adepts, uh, oracles for the adepts earlier, but you know what I mean. Still no third base, and with the Stargate opener, that's becoming late. Sola is going to see this, hopefully. Um, okay, no, he does take it. Four minutes. Maybe a little bit late, but nothing too major. Obviously, losing those adepts makes it a little bit harder to defend. Twilight, once again, Hero not deviating too much from what he enjoys. Um, Sola seeming to do the same. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Okay, there's a lot of oracles again. It's been a while since I've seen uh, this style from here, this mini oracle style. It seems like he's only going for three in this game, as opposed to the previous one where he went for like nine, maybe seven, I can't remember. It was an odd number though. It's taken a lot of that, well, not that one, a lot of damage on that one though, which he's always got to be careful about. Ooh, these links just walk right past. Oh, hero, did you not have something in your wall? Although, you know, the hero tends to do that often, so maybe... <laughs> maybe I shouldn't make as if it's something new. These Zerglings getting rid of the pylon, but they are being zapped by a bunch of oracles at the moment. We do see Blink this time, no oracle shenanigans. Adept, not oracle. There's the oracles, they're doing their stuff. Zergling still staying around here. Solo's comfortably taking his third, he's going up to a couple more gases, he's getting his Roach Warren and his Lair. So he's going to go for his Roach based mid game with a little bit of Lings, Roach Ravager Ling. Are we going to see Bane Ling Nest? Okay, once more a bunch of Adepts are trying to get in. Shade's going to go across, is he going to let it finish? Yeah he is. Zerglings have moved. That's three workers, four workers going down so far. Yeah, that's decent damage. Six workers in all. Ten workers this game have gone down. At the cost of seven adepts. Okay. I like that. I think that's a decent trade. Oh no. Catching a couple more in the transfer. No, not the queens. Uh, okay. 
Good split off there by Hero. He manages to save that one Oracle while getting a bunch more workers. Alright, 13 workers. That's a lot. That's big damage. 17 workers in total. Okay, so Sola actually went for the triangle base for his third and this one for his fourth. Okay. Cool. Evo chamber. But here goes the stalkers. That's a lot of stalkers marching across the map. <laughs> Zerglings are here, but they're gonna come home because there is nothing defending for Sola at the moment. The roaches are trickling out. That's a lot of stalkers. They do have blink. Zerglings come in from the back. Yeah, blink saves them, and here comes the oracles to help add their damage. Got a one gonna go down. But uh, this is a lot of damage coming out from Hero. He's gonna be warping in reinforcements behind the Sola taps out. Hero takes a series, two to one. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I hope you're excited for the new maps as, as excited for the new maps as I am. I think the new maps always shake up the meta, keeps things fresh and exciting. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one.